In the year 2000, the first non-prism total station was released. Because a reflective prism was not necessary, there was the expectation the application range of this technology would extend to one being able to take measurements safely and efficiently in previously hard to reach and hazardous areas such as high places and slopes. However, even after a decade had passed, the standard method for measurements remained unchanged. Existing traditional total stations have lasers which pass through the crosshairs. However, they are unable to measure the tips of lightning rods or the corners of buildings. If there are no marks or distinguishing features on the target object, such as a telephone pole, it is impossible to line up the center. In order to meet this need, the Baum was invented. The Baum has concentric circles drawn on the crosshairs of its reticle. The Baum's calibration is set at regular intervals. For example, at calibration 1, an object 10 meters away is marked as 10 millimeters. At calibration 2, the same object will be marked as 20 millimeters. By replacing crosshairs with the Baum, conducting offset surveys of structures becomes a possibility. Similarly, the coordinates of the pointed ends of lightning rods and round cylindrical objects are now obtainable. Additionally, measurements of spherical reference points used by 3D laser scanners can now be taken. Now with the advent of 3D laser scanners which make use of spheres as target objects, we can expect to see many new applications to be developed in the future. Replace those crosshairs with the bowel. Through this small change, the efficiency of total stations is raised to their fullest.